Camelot 3 through 1 here. And does does it ever end? <laughs> does it ever end at GameStop? All the crazy ass things that happen at that store. Does it ever end? No, it does not. GameStop has become an absolute HR nightmares. Talking about human resources. It seems like some future dystopian society where every single taboo is completely legal. It's like the wild, wild west, man. It's crazy as hell, and they should probably make a movie about it. But the movie probably wouldn't be very good. <laughs> it seems like desperation mode has hit GameStop in a big way. GameStop recently announced they lost 200 million dollars in their last quarter alone. That is absolutely damn insane. It looks like we're about to have to say goodbye to our favorite retailer. <laughs> and I'll use the word favorite very loosely. <laughs> but as a result, some crazy ass things are going on at GameStop right now. I got several messages, several horrific messages to go through and you're going to listen to them and you're going to probably end up with no clothes on at the end of this. I don't know why. And also, someone directly from HR contacts me with with a little personal spin on something. We'll get to that at the end of the video. So before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, doodle. It's very damn important. And make sure you subscribe if you have it. Damn it. First message. I work at GameStop and came into the store early one morning because I left my Switch at the store and wanted to get it. So I unlocked the door and walked in. I noticed the distorted noise <laughs> in the back. I thought I was the only one there, so I went to investigate. I peeked my head in the back and could see in the system room, and my store leader <laughs> was having sex with the district leader. Perfect. <laughs> you should have recorded it, damn it, son. That's some porn hub material. My district leader is a much, much older male. Even better. Even better. I just turned around and noped right the hell out of there and went home and tried to forget what happened. I see them both often, and I can't even look them in the eyes. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I used to see my district leader and <laughs> Egg, when he was my store leader, do some crazy ass things, especially in Vegas Conference. Some crazy things. You know the Egg stories. Go find them. There are plenty of them. Hookers everywhere. Hookers to the damn, to the roof, son. They're stacked up. I don't know how they fit in here. Next message. When I worked at GameStop, my district leader had an office in our store. Same. My district leader had an office in my store as well when I worked there. It was in the back room beside the female restroom. One day, a female associate came to me really nervous and said there was a small hole in the wall in the female restroom and there was light shining through it, then suddenly covered itself up. <laughs> oh, this is only the second message and I know exactly where this is going, damn it. So after my district leader left, I went into his office and behind a small plaque, was a hole directly to the female's restroom. <laughs> Jesus! It's like Porky's, man. Except not funny at all and very illegal. I called Human Resources and told them what I found and they interviewed him about it the next day. Of course, he denied everything. I had to be there because I was a witness. HR then confiscated his phone and laptop. He was fired about a week later. Rumor was that he had videos on his phone of female associates at her store. Oh, damn. He started coming in as a regular customer after a few months with the same majority female staff there. <laughs> he should probably j jump off cliff, in my opinion, but whatever. Whatever. He's just going to go back there. And the thing is, HR doesn't give a damn, and they don't fire dist district managers. They don't fire unless they have to. They probably found something outrageous on his phone, and they had to do something, because otherwise nothing would have happened. Next message. I'm a store manager at GameStop, and I used to have a third key that would bring his pet to work every single day. Oh, yes. If you guys remember Hector, the guy I talked about one time, he used to bring a giant snake in all the time, and I thought it was kick-ass, which wasn't allowed, but I was really laid back. The thing is, his pet... <laughs> was an alligator, <laughs> a pretty big one. It was always in a shopping cart just looking at me. Sometimes it would pee everywhere. It was pretty terrifying, but a lot of customers held it and took pictures with it. So it's fine. No big deal. The customers love the damn alligator. Let him chill in the store. He's just trying to get, get games and get terrible trading values. <laughs> That's definitely against human resources because what if he bit somebody's arm off? Or bit their ass cheek off. Specifically the left ass cheek. You can't live without the left ass cheek. Next message. 
So I have a store leader that is married to the store leader from the store a city away, which is allowed, obviously. Different stores. Well, my store leader would openly sleep with every male that worked in our store and customers as well. <laughs> oh my God. Why does this always happen? Every damn, every story. She said her husband was okay with it. Shocking. Well, my friend works at her husband's store. Turns out her husband does the same thing there. He sleeps with female associates and some regular customers. There's no loyalty at all in this marriage. This is going to last very long. I don't know why they would do this because someone would eventually cross paths. Well, to all of our surprise, they were not supposed to be cheating on each other. <laughs> well, hot damn, you don't say. My store leader, the wife, found out because an associate from his store told her that she slept with him. Apparently, she didn't know he was married. <laughs> My store leader then goes all the way across town to confront her husband at his store. She freaked out, and my friend that works there was there and called me. <laughs> she destroyed their store and tore down all the fixtures and broke everything and left. Obviously, everyone found out, and it was a big ordeal, and they were both fired for sleeping with subordinates. My store leader and the one across the street. <laughs> they were both fired, obviously. Obviously, because they're just, they're just smashing everybody. The, under their watch, no pisser goes unsmashed. They're just smashing all the damn pissers. It's like a damn ring, son. It's like a ring. They're running a damn ring at GameStop. <laughs> and they're running a train as well. Next message. I used to work at GameStop, and my store manager was a creep. One time, he apparently watched me put in a password on my phone. I then went to the back and left my phone up front. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go. What's about to happen here? <laughs> you can all pretty much guess. Uh, he then broke into my phone and went through all my videos and photos. He found pictures and videos with my boyfriend. He then sent them to himself. Shocking. The only way I found out was my boyfriend found it on my iPad that apparently synced and he confronted me. He was threatening to break up with me and stuff. Apparently, my store leader had deleted the chat, but didn't realize it was on my iPad. I contacted HR immediately. They then interviewed him and nothing happened. My SGA said that he told HR that I sent them to him <laughs> willingly, which was a lie. He was like Egg's twin brother. <laughs> so he's apparently really, really big and gross. I would have never sent him anything. Well, he didn't get fired, and he fired me about a week later claiming I stole something because I had a game checked out. <laughs> also something Egg has done. I got approved for unemployment, so there's that at least. The store closed down recently, and he got terminated, so all is well with the world. Another Egg cracked. Another omelet made. <laughs> and the thing that I kind of realized is a lot of store leaders and district leaders have this weird power complex. And I don't know why. And it's probably because it goes completely unchecked because their HR department doesn't give a damn about nobody. About nobody, son. Next message. My store leader actually committed time card fraud. Shocking. <laughs> Finally, someone actually did it in a huge way. The crazy thing is, is that he, the crazy thing is, is that all the associates complained, but HR never did anything. It was a high ranking store because of the college town and our team was really good. Just our store leader was terrible. He would come in at 9 a.m. and have someone scheduled with him. He would then clock in and immediately leave until 6 p.m. <laughs> Literally egg. Wow. Is this damn, is this egg stories or something? Did you guys send me the egg stories? <laughs> he would come back and clock out. He did this every single day. He would get paid for 46 hours a week usually. Our stores got allocated enough hours to have double coverage usually. He did this for about a year, making over $50,000 in the process. Our district leader knew, but didn't care because our ranking was so good. They were buddies. Shocking. This sounds too familiar. <laughs> HR randomly showed up one day because they were traveling stores and our store leader wasn't there. They looked on workday and he was clocked in. So they called him in and fired him. He stole more than $50,000. He apparently, they apparently sued him, but I never heard anything. The district leader didn't even get interviewed about it. He is still my district leader right now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that guy didn't show up for work for nearly a whole year here and there. And he made all that money. I feel like... He won. <laughs> I feel like he won this battle. Unless he went to jail or something. Or got sued. Then maybe not. But if he didn't, that's a free 50k that GameStop had to pay. 
which I agree with, I guess. <laughs> Next message. I'm an SGA at GameStop. Our district leader was dating our assistant manager and firing anyone who found out. Shocking. Yes. So you're not supposed to do that. A district leader can't date someone that is under him. One of his subordinates. He would sometimes show up at our store and him and her would go into the back for an hour. <laughs> they were in the bathroom so he couldn't see on the cameras. Well, I wonder why they're there in the bathroom. Wow. He then fired our store leader to promote her to store leader. When they went to conference in Las Vegas, she would just stay in his room. <laughs> it's fine. You don't even have to hide it, apparently. The thing is, our district leader was already married and was dating this girl on the side. Wow. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> it's all HR nightmares. All of it. Eventually, his wife found out and came to our store when our now store leader was off. I was the only one working. His wife proceeded to yell at me and told me she was coming back to the store <laughs> to shoot me. <laughs> I told her I didn't know what she was talking about and absolved myself of any guilt by saying it was our store leader who was dating her husband, not me. She didn't care. She said everyone knew, therefore everyone should be punished. <laughs> she left and I locked the door and called the police, then HR. HR said they were looking into it. Nothing happened after that. He broke up with the store leader he was dating, and that was it. She is still my store leader, and he is still my district leader. <laughs> They're both still there. Why does HR not care? You can share this because I'm quitting anyway. They'll know who I am when I hear this. <laughs> HR doesn't care. You know how corporate companies always say, you're just part of a big-ass family. We're a big family here. Well, HR doesn't work to protect the people. My old HR guy from GameStop, you know, the tool man, he worked for corporate, which means he technically wasn't a part of our family. And he's also divorced, <laughs> so he's not really a part of his either. Next message. I was a store leader at GameStop recently and our store closed down, which a lot of us predicted, but that's not the issue. How we found out our store was being closed, five closed in our district, is we were on a conference call and it was business as usual. Then our district leader called five store numbers out and simply said, your stores are closing Monday. <laughs> we will be getting all your product together for liquidation. Jeez, Lord. So all of us found out we were losing our jobs that day. No clearance, sell, or anything. Just out of a job. I tried calling my district leader after the call and he sent it to voicemail. One of the managers from another store called me crying because she's been there for 10 years. Imagine giving 10 years of your life or 11 <laughs> in my case. <laughs> Imagine giving 10 years of your life to a company and they're like, okay, bye. They don't give a damn. You're not part of their family, son. You don't get the millions. <laughs> I just want a Ferrari or another stock car. I don't know. I never talked to my district leader after the conference call. He just said lock up Sunday and leave the keys with another manager. That store wasn't closing. It really broke us. They didn't care at all. And they never do and they never will until they die. They will literally go out with a whimper and never say they're sorry to anybody they've, they've disparaged. They don't care. You heard the conference call. Now for the final message. The one from HR. An HR rep at GameStop reached out to me and they're going to tell me some stuff. Are they going to defend themselves? Probably. Do they have a story? <laughs> Most definitely. Next message. I work in HR for GameStop. We get a bad rep, but we are trained to treat employees like numbers. Also, when we interview them, we are to persuade them into admitting to something even if they didn't do it. Shocking. I've heard this a lot of times. Then we submit it as fact and we'll terminate them. Our number one goal is to terminate who the heads tell us to for whatever reason and avoid paying any amount of unemployment. Our bonus is somewhat based on if we avoid any kind of separation pay. But I do want to submit a crazy story. So the bonuses actually are determined by the, the people they fire without having to pay unemployment. Shocking. <laughs> Here's the HR story. One time I had a district leader put in a request for bereavement because his wife had passed away. So it was approved and he took time off. About two weeks go by and no word from him. Eventually we get a call at the corporate office from someone looking for that district leader and information on where he was. It was his wife. <laughs> 
The one that was supposed to be dead. Shocking. He apparently told her he was going to a meeting for GameStop in Texas and would be gone for two weeks. She said he didn't call her when he was supposed to land back at home and didn't show up the next day, which was Monday. So she called us. He showed up to his store the next day. He was promptly terminated that same week. His defense was it, is, it was his other wife that passed. His ex-wife. But he was in California taking a personal vacation. <laughs> oh, my wife died again. Both of them. All three of them. All seven and a half. Because one of them's real short. Wives have died. Or one of them. The half one. The halfling died. It was a sad time to be alive. <laughs> so that's all the crazy ass HR nightmare stories I have for you today. Everything's burning down at GameStop. Not only are they down $200 million and they can't pay their debt that's coming up. They're also uh, having some HR issues. And by issues, I mean it's, it's damn burning down. <laughs> what do you think? Send me your messages d wherever you work. I don't care where you work, son. I don't care. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Share this video with everyone you can. Give it an updoodle and make sure that you're subscribed. Damn it. And also, do me a big, big favor. Make sure to get on it. Doggone it. Bye. Yeah. Hell yeah.